So, you guys want me to show you how I made this full codex effect. From this... Basically what I'm going to be doing today and probably tomorrow since it's like literally almost 4 o'clock. To this... What is up everyone if you're new to our channel, Chris Garcia here and if you're a subscriber to our channel, welcome back. So if you are a returning subscriber or you're currently a subscriber on my YouTube channel, you know what today is. Today is another creation video, which means it is Happy Creation Day! That's right, creation. I'm wearing a creation shirt. So today's creation video, we're going to talk about how to use Vocodex in a melodic way. But if you are an FL Studio user or an FL Studio lure, and you used Vocodex, right? If you are not an FL Studio user or an FL Studio user, or if you did not use Vocoder or Vocodex, Vocodex is a type of Vocoder effect, which you can import a woman or a man talking by putting it into a digital audio workstation and you bring it to Vocodex and it adds like a chord effect, which it looks like the man or woman that is talking, it looks like he or she is singing. And I know that Vocodex has a built-in carrier synthesizer, but unfortunately, you cannot change the chords. But I am going to demonstrate you, which you know you have to load a plugin from the instruments area, and you have to load Vocodex on the mixer effect. And I know it's going to be pretty hard as long as you follow the instructions. So without further ado, let's get right into the screen recording. To the FL Studio. All right, everyone, I'm inside FL Studio. Are you guys inside FL Studio? And are you guys are gonna be with me? So let's get right into it. So by the way, I wrote the instructions so that way you guys can follow along. And of course, you gotta watch this video very carefully. And if you're having a struggle, and if it's not working, I'll give you the FLP file and the link is in the description box down below, which is everything that is finished, all set up. Okay, so let's go on to step number one. Step number one is to load Vocodex on mixer number two, or load on the second mixer by labeling the word carrier. For example, if you're on number 10, that could be my second mixer, and this will be carrier, but for me, I'm gonna put it on mixer number two, and I'm gonna load Vocodex in the effects plugin. So right now I'm the plugin picker and I'm gonna search for Vocodex and here it is. And it goes right here. This is Vocodex. So everything is set up. So right now I'm gonna rename it carrier and just add some color. And I do wanna add the icon and you can see that this icon matches the top of the carrier. And I know that the carrier is abbreviated. You can see that both of these icons matches. Isn't that cool? So everything is loaded. Okay, so step number two is to load the sound on mixer number one, AKA the mixer next to you on the left and label the word sound. So I'm gonna load a sound and I'm gonna put it on mixer number one. So this is the sound, for example, which is someone talking or a person talking, and I'm gonna put it on mixer number one. All right, so let me go ahead and label the word sound, or you guys can call it modulator, or you can call it vocal, whatever type of vocal names you guys wanna put. I just want to put sound for now on. As you can see, I want to make sure that both of the icons matches. And guys, I wanted to give you an example, like if you're on mixer number 10, you put carrier, and I wanted to import sound, you have to put the sound that is next to the carrier. So the mixer that is Next to you on the left is on number nine. So I put it on number nine as a sound. So for me, I put it on number one. Okay, everyone, let's go on step number three. Step number three is to load the instrument plugin to mixer number two, 
or the carrier mixer. Okay, so I'm going to load the instrument or in channel, whatever you guys want to call it. And I wanted to load Citrus as part of the instrument plugin. And I wanted to load the preset as a vocoder carrier, and I want to use organ, which you know organ, right? I used the organ as part of the vocoder, which I used every part of my videos on one of my previous videos, which I have done, which I did some of the vocoder effects. And I know it was really, really difficult to set up, and you have to do a lot of effects and a lot of imports and stuff. So here's my plugin, and I'm going to load it to mixer number two as the carrier mixer. So we're going to go to step number four. Step number four is on mixer one, or sound mixer, disable the send knob located on the bottom of the master mixer. So if you do not know what the master mixer is, this is the master, which you can see there's the M symbol, and it says master. So I'm going to go on mixer number one, and I have to disable this. So you can see, as I clicked, the send knob is disabled. And also, this says that to enable the send knob on the bottom of mixer number two. So I gotta enable this. And you can see that it is now enabled. So what happens if I play it? So I just wanna draw some chords. So let me see, I'm gonna play this with my keyboard. Nothing happens. It's completely silent. But you can see that if I play it, you can see that the carrier is lighting up. So I'm just gonna do some chords. And I wanna set it as a G major. So let me go ahead and do the G major chord. And then I want to do the C major chord. Hmm. Here you go. Let me go ahead and do the C. But if I play it, nothing happens. But what if I load the pattern that I have made, which is the chords, and if I load it on the song pattern? You can see what happens if I add it. Basically what I'm going to be doing today and probably tomorrow since it's like... And you can see you can hear the regular sound. The regular sound is still exist. So all we have to do is we need to go on step number five. So step number five on mixer number one or sound mixer, tweak the sound knob to 0% located on the bottom of mixer 2 or carrier mixer. You, there is the send knob right here and you have to lower it all the way down to zero so that way you can hear the results. And also make sure the vocoder or the modulator is on number one and the carrier on zero so that way you can hear the results. So here is the results and here is how it sounds like. Isn't that cool, guys? Did you guys really like it? Did this work for you? I hope it did, because this is really, really cool. And this is your final results. And that's how Vocodex sounds like in a melodic way, because you know that if you have the built-in, you know, this is the built-in, this is the built-in synthesizer or carrier, and you cannot change anything. It stays there forever. But if you want to change it, you have to, you know, load Vocodex and you have to do something on the next mixer or something like that. You have to tweak something in order to get the results like this. Yeah, because if you have as a G major on built-in synthesizer, it stays there forever. You can't change anything. You can't automate it, for example. I try to right click, it doesn't do that. So you have to do it like in a separate plugin. And the cool thing is I wanted to add a reverb. 
And the reverb, it sounds a lot cooler with me because I want it to fade out because I wanted to add a lot of colorful effects in order to make it sound much of a vocoded effect, which I did on some of the parts of my videos. And I'm demonstrating to you guys right now. And I'm going to lower the wet and I want to make sure it's right now. Let me go ahead and adjust this. I want to make sure I could hear this completely. And this is how you get. I want to make sure it doesn't hit above zero. So that concludes the demonstration of how Vulcadex works. So I hope it works. I hope you guys really like it. But I know it is very, very hard to create this. And it takes a lot of time. So this is the final results. And if you couldn't able to do those kinds of stuff, or you couldn't able to make this type of look at that effect, or if it doesn't work, the FLP file is in the description box down below, and it's everything set up. But if you want to change the sound, you can replace the sound by importing it and just dragging it and put it on the sound area, and it will automatically replace it for you. So that concludes this type of Vocodex tutorial. So let's go back to the face camera. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If this really helps you, you're more than welcome to suck a like, leave a comment or leave a question in the comments. Any type of opinions you wanted to give me, you can give me a feedback if you want to. If anyone who is new to Vocodex, or if anyone who really interested of making this type of book edit effect, you're more than welcome to share this video. So before you leave, make sure you click that subscribe button if you have not been already. And I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day and also happy creation day.